I'm back in the nursery. As I mentioned a few videos ago, my intention here is to replace the GE Sync switch and the three GE Sync bulbs in here, which aren't Matter compatible or Apple compatible, with something a little more future proof and less confined to its own ecosystem. So I went with the Innovelli White Series 2-in-1 switch. It's a smart switch with a smart bulb function which allows you to control smart bulbs. Other smart switches like Lutron or Eve are really just meant to control your average bulb that doesn't have any smart features. I actually really liked the experience of the GE Sync switch and bulbs. So my goal here was really to just replicate that exact same experience but be able to use those devices in Apple Home. I got to installing the switch, which went by very quickly. <laughs> I got to installing the switch after turning the power off, which went by very quickly. I was basically just removing and replacing the wires from the GE Sync switch. And I replaced my GE Sync bulbs with Philips Hue bulbs. I've always really liked Philips Hue and I have a bunch of bulbs around the house already. So that setup also went very quickly. When I went to control the lights for the very first time, I was hit with an issue I did not expect, response time. With the GE Sync switch and bulbs, when I pressed the button to turn the lights on, the lights turned on immediately, instantaneously. With these, almost two seconds went by after hitting the button to turn the lights on. The GE Sync switch and bulbs is a Bluetooth mesh network, so they directly connect to each other. So when you hit the button to turn the lights on, they can react immediately. With the Innovelli White Series switch being on the Thread network and Philips Hue bulbs being on the Zigbee network, the signal actually has a long way to go from button press to lights turning on. So that does create some delay, unfortunately. So I did have to do some troubleshooting on the Innovelli switch and my thread network to see if I can get that delay reduced. I wanna pause here and just kind of explain why I chose Philips Hue bulbs and the Innovelli white series switch specifically. I think a lot of people have ended up with a lot of Philips Hue bulbs over the years, maybe even by accident, maybe it was a gift. It's a great product and it's a big name, so it wouldn't surprise me. And I think those same people are seeing a lot of Matter devices coming out and they wanna make sure that they make the right choice. So the delay between the Innovelli white series switch and my Philips Hue bulbs was about a second and a half, maybe a little bit more. So walking into the room, you press the button and it would feel like an eternity before the lights came on. I know a second and a half doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're so used to instantaneous feedback with your lights, this is a long time. So I thought maybe let's make the signal not have to travel so far. So I put a nano leaf matter over thread bulb in the lamp right next to my Philips Hue bulb. I wanted to see what the difference might be if the bulb was on the same network as the switch. The nano leaf bulbs are matter over thread. The Innovelli White Series is matter over thread. It should be cut and dry. Instantaneous feedback? No. It did bring the response time down by a couple hundred milliseconds, but still not as fast as I would have expected it to be. So I started doing some troubleshooting. Maybe it was the thread signal that wasn't strong enough to the switch. Maybe there was Wi-Fi interference, things of that nature. But honestly, if you were willing to go through that much effort to troubleshoot this and figure out why there was this big of a delay, then you probably would have done the research in the first place and seen that Innovelli has a switch called the Blue Series, which is a Zigbee switch. And in that case, you would have put the switch and the bulbs on the same dedicated Zigbee hub, used Home Assistant with all kinds of parameter settings, and had basically instantaneous response. But I didn't want to do that because it's too complicated. And I think a lot of people don't want this to be that complicated. Unfortunately, the Matter protocol just isn't there yet and there's gonna be some delay. And that's the drawback. Ultimately, if you end up using the Innovelli White Series in a nano leaf Matter over thread bulb, you're gonna have about a second and a half delay between hitting the button and the light turning on. If you stick with Philips Hue bulbs, and the Innovelli White Series switch, then the response time is gonna be a few hundred milliseconds longer than that. But the advantage is that thread is always getting updated, the Innovelli White Series switch is already ready to handle direct binding between bulb and switch, and you're not stuck in one ecosystem like GE Sync or Hue between switch and bulb. You can mix and match all you want. Ultimately, we decided to stick with the Philips Hue bulbs, even with the higher delay over the Nanoleaf bulbs. We actually really like the Philips Hue app, and it's one of the only apps for smart devices that we still use outside of Apple Home or the Alexa app. So if you don't mind that slight delay, which will likely be fixed in the future, then I can definitely recommend the Innovelli White Series switch paired with Philips Hue bulbs, or for a slightly lesser delay, the Nanoleaf bulbs, which are matter over thread. And if you really don't mind staying in one ecosystem and a delay would really bother you, then you should really look into the GE Sync line of devices. They have a new switch coming out in March, which is matter compatible and they have a lot of lights they're coming out with, which are all matter compatible, so you'll still be future-proofing, and you'll have some instantaneous feedback when you press a button and a light will come on.
As always, I'd love for you to like and subscribe and even comment. I'd love some feedback and if you have any insight on why I'm seeing this bigger delay, I'd love some help as well. See you next week.